pandemic has undoubtedly set students back when it comes to learning and brought disparities to light. A recent McKenzie report found students of color are an estimated six to 12 months behind compared to four to eight months for white students. Savannah Levin's live for us this morning. Savannah, schools have a really big job tackling this learning loss. Oh, totally. I mean, you're hearing four to 12 months behind. That's huge. And Georgia will now be funding more educational community and after school programs, which we know can have a huge impact. I got to check out a local tech camp. That's a great example of that. When the pandemic hit, you know, I knew we were we were in trouble. Child development expert Dr. Kimberly Barron says addressing learning loss will be a constant uphill battle for schools this year. We still don't know the real impact this has had on kids, especially underprivileged kids, and I, I'm, I'm very concerned that it's it's been very significant. A recent Voice of the Educator survey found 97% of teachers saw some learning loss in their students over the past year. The U.S. Department of Education recently approved Georgia's plan to use $1.4 billion of federal COVID funds to address learning loss, in part by expanding after school tutoring and funding community learning programs. I can only imagine how it felt to be a child and have to go through this. Darius Cooper is a recent Morehouse grad who volunteered for one such program over the summer, teaching tech to kids from Title I schools, who statistically have been the most affected by learning loss. You see how the pandemic truly has affected them. They were so ecstatic that this opportunity was there for them. A reinvigoration and inspiration for students like 13-year-old Judah Whaley. It's like great for life, especially for someone like me who could use that extra step to, you know, improve their life and society. And Uriah Guyton. They inspired me to pursue a career of being an engineer. Educators bracing for the challenge, working overtime to set kids up for success. They taught us to be great and they made me want to be great. So you see what kind of big impact those programs can have. As for school districts, they say they'll be evaluating the gaps and needs that arise this year. And thankfully, they'll have that little extra funding uh, to use as needed to help. That funding is going to be huge mm -hmm. in closing this gap. Savannah, thank you for bringing those issues to light.